right now at 6. A local school superintendent accused of putting his own son ahead of other students. If his son wasn't involved, would this still be the, the precedent he would take? The investigation tonight into claims that he interfered with an exam only because his son did poorly. His family or someone was directly involved, that he, maybe he should be uh, taking a step back. The superintendent of the Forest Hills School District accused of tossing out dozens of tests all because his son had done poorly. While parents are concerned, teachers very upset. WLWT News 5's John London is leading the way live for us tonight with more on this investigation. John. Well, it is one that has many in the district walking on eggshells, a highly sensitive situation. Most parents we spoke with are holding their fire until results of the investigation are made known. It is getting mighty testy at Turpin these days. Some teachers here allege their superintendent unethically intruded on his son's class, invalidating a first semester exam score. The Forest Hills District hired a third party independent attorney to investigate Dallas Jackson's involvement. By phone this afternoon, school board president Randy Smith told us it was done in seven to ten days. Then spring break got in the way. It has lingered on, and that has fueled suspicions. This parent has two students in the district. He describes his level of concern about all this with the word very. I mean, I want to make sure it's all fair across the board. You know, if, the, if this test was uh, producing some bad results, so be it. But the fact that his kid was involved in it and that the uh, test was uh, pulled afterwards makes you wonder if there was some bias involved in it. You know, like I said, if this kid wasn't involved in it, would he be doing the same thing with this or not? I don't know. The superintendent's office indicated today Jackson was not available for comment. We were told the letter from concerned teachers was being redacted by general counsel to scrub clean any student information. The controversies roiled the waters throughout the district. Some parents privately expressing support for Jackson, while others describing his approach as heavy-handed. Patrick Karosik has found him fair, but this investigation has raised eyebrows. A lot of people are very alarmed about that. You know, the fact that they brought an outside person to do that shows that it's being taken seriously. I mean, I was impressed the teachers came forward. Some Turpin teachers find irony at the moment in the district's motto: success for all students. And board members will discuss all this in executive session Monday night, just as they do with all personnel matters. A statement about the findings is expected then. Given the buzz in the district today, they may need to add some more cheers for that meeting. Mike. All right, John, thank you. Superintendent Jackson reports directly to the five member board. The district has kept the name of the investigator private, as well as the amount paid for this investigation.